A woman's parents say the state's mental health system failed her. Now she's in the hospital, accused of stabbing her father and breaking into a church. Police say the woman had a knife and broke into St. Francis Cabrini Sunday morning. A priest was in the rectory at the time he was able to hide and call 911. Police arrested the woman after a standoff. Well, tonight her parents have a message for Nebraska lawmakers. And Newswatch 7 and 9's Sean McKinnon with the exclusive interview. The scars tell the story. She's not right. She's not right. She needs help. Noemi Guzman's dad shows us the knife wounds on his hands, neck, and face. She sprayed me the face with a pepper spray, and she jumped to me with a knife. He says Sunday his adult daughter stabbed him, doused him in lighter fluid, tried to set the house on fire, and then broke into this church. Guzman's mom says Noemi's mental health has been spiraling out of control for 10 years. She's diagnosed with schizophrenia. She did not want to leave her room. It was a year before I saw her face. And then when I saw her, she had gained uh, 100 pounds. Guzman's dad says she breaks windows and thinks people are coming after her. He says he filed a board of mental health petition to get her some help last year. He says Noemi was in and out of the hospital in five days and they never got a treatment plan. They never called me, they never asked me a question, what did she do, what is she getting better, or she, is she still the same, or getting worse, they never asked help. It is terrible to feel powerless to help your children. I feel like I can't find the resources uh, to get her some help. And that is the reality in Nebraska. The Douglas County Sheriff has said time and time again, the state does not have the infrastructure to help acute care patients. We don't necessarily have the bed space. And even when we do have the bed, state, the bed space, we may not have the staff. Douglas County District Court, which processes Board of Mental Health petitions, agrees, saying the Board of Mental Health is limited in the tools at their disposal. They need more beds, meds, and doctors to provide the care needed for these patients. Sheriff Hansen says statistics show 90% of people in the Board of Mental Health system never get admitted to a hospital against their will. Maybe that's appropriate. Maybe all those people are self-correcting, but I think the, the data and the experience would, would indicate Otherwise, from 2022 to 2023, the number of Board of Mental Health petitions served jumped from 899 to 1,020. Hansen says it's not just the number of beds. The Board of Mental Health needs casework support. That doesn't exist right now. The sheriff says lawmakers need to look at the Board of Mental Health statutes, state law, and mental health infrastructure, like the number of hospital beds. But we have to dig in, and I think policymakers on the state level are going to have to find real solutions. Noemi's parents say something has to change. I'll talk to whoever I need to talk to. Uh, so right now is my daughter, but there's a lot of people who need help. Sean McKinnon, KETV Newswatch 7.